You're here with tight end coach Bobby Bentley. Bobby, first of all, just in general, about two and a half weeks away from the start of uh, the season, how's your tight end room looking at this point? Impressed with the guys. Their work ethic's been good. Just got to continue to get better at execution and our technique. But uh, very impressed with uh, the way they've come to practice every day and their work ethic and their camaraderie. Nick Muse is kind of your your guy uh, coming off last season, the, the the top returning guy that you have, but he's coming off an ACL. Where is he physically, and, and where would you like to see him at this point? He's almost there. We are still trying to limit him as much as we can, but getting him ready, he's got, what, a couple more weeks to, to be ready for game week, and uh, I think he's going to be fine. You know, obviously, the, the more you can get that thing ready, the better off he's going to be. I think it always takes him about eight months or so to, to get back and, and confident in their knee, and uh, but he's doing well. Uh, he's leading the group, and I'm proud of him. And just touching on that leadership out of that group, you lose a Kyle Markway who'd been around a long time before that, Hayden Hurst. Um, just wondering where you're getting that leadership in your room. You know, um, I'd say the leadership's coming from, uh, obviously, Nick. Uh, Will Register's really done a good job uh, this fall camp. I'm, I've, I've seen a big development um, increase with, with, with Will and his uh, – you know, responsibilities and his assignments. He, he doesn't make any uh, mis mental mistakes and assignment issues. Keyshawn Tony's done a really good job also. Even though he's a redshirt freshman, you know, I call him the old man of the group. Uh, he, he's like a professor. He's very intelligent. He knows everybody's assignment. And in our case, we play with a lot of tight ends on the field now, sometimes two, sometimes three. So, you know, the guys have got to know their assignments. I want to touch on that, a Mike Bobo offense. How does that um, change for a tight end? It seems like we're seeing more tight end, two, two tight end sets. You know, it's fun for me personally to be in this offense because we're highly involved. And uh, Coach Bobo has about, I'd say, 350 plays on his roller decks. And, you know, it's a lot of plays. It's a lot of plays each day. It's very strain. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a strain on you mentally. But it's good to come out here and execute it every day, and, and you got to be prepared on and off the field in this offense. Hey Coach, where are uh, Jaheim Bell and Eric Shaw health-wise right now? You know, Jaheim Bell and Eric Shaw are, are two freshmen that we've signed, and uh, both came in and, and did a tremendous job you know, coming in athletically and learning the system. Uh, Jaheim's behind a little bit right now, had to have a little bit of uh, surgery and, and get his uh, leg going on, getting better. Uh, Eric had some bone spurs he had to take out, so he's just now, I think, he's on his fifth practice. But both of them, you see some athleticism, you see some burst, and you see some explosiveness. Uh, just got to continue to get them ready to understand the execution of the offense. Kevion Mullins is a guy who, who told us last week that he, he feels like he's a mismatch for some defensive backs and uh, come over from a, a wide receiver spot. Let's talk about his progress. Yeah, Kevion Mullins has been a pleasant surprise. You know, he, he's 21 miles an hour out here and uh, probably one of the fastest guys on the team as far as just straight line linear speed. So we're excited about his uh, matchup capability against safeties and linebackers. And as he continues to learn the offense, he's going to be a weapon for us. You kind of mentioned this a little bit, but between Mullins, Tony, and, and Kenyon, uh, all redshirt freshmen, where have you kind of seen them kind of take that, that next step and in, in, the, in their growth? I think all of them have done a good job, especially as we mentioned before with the with this offense. It's a lot of detail, and Coach Bobo is attentive to detail. And you know, it, it's a you, you have to be on your p's and q's every every day because there's going to be a, something a little bit different, uh, a little bit of a new wrinkle to you. So those guys have all picked it up well, and I, I, that's where I'm probably the most proud of uh, Keyshawn Tony, Will Register, Nick Muse. Uh, you know, th those guys have really came on and understand what we're trying to do. And as we continue to do that, we'll, it'll make our offense better. we got to win by being smart and being talented in the little details of the play concept and the play execution. Coach, you have uh, basically just two veterans, Nick Muse and, and Will Register. The rest, you, uh, you look around that room and they're all young guys there. Can you talk about some of those guys and what you've seen from them? Good. I, you know, I'm proud of Nick and Will's uh, experience and their leadership. But, you know, Keyshawn Tony's really come on strong. Trey Kenyon, you know, he's got a lot of ability. Just got to get him to learn his plays and do what he's supposed to do uh, on the field with his execution. And, uh, you know, you look at Mullins, Kevion Mullins as a redshirt freshman, has a lot of uh, speed and, and capability for mismatches. And uh, I think if you start looking at the future, you look at those young guys we've signed and then those redshirt freshmen, the future's bright at the tight end position. If you had to uh, put somebody out there in, in a short yardage situation, who's who's your best blocker of, the, of all those guys? Right now, the blocking depends on which day it is. Honestly, we, you know, the guys have good days, bad days, and we got to eliminate the bad days in our blocking assignments. 
Right now, we're probably executing a little better in the passing game. We've got to do a better job in our blocking assignments and our blocking technique uh, so we can do a better job in short yardage. Um, the last question for you, Coach. A lot of people interested, obviously, in Jake and, and going out to Utah, and then there's the, their um, season coming down a broad halt. Um, just kind of give us an update on, on how he's doing and, and what his thought process is right now. Jake's doing great. You know, they're practicing. Um, so I think the biggest thing with him is being around his teammates and still being able to practice. And him, he loves the offensive coordinator, the quarterback coach, and, and you know, just him being able to be out there working with his team, it's okay. But I think the hardest thing for him and the team is to see other other teams play and knowing that other teams are getting to play. I think if he can just overcome that hurdle, he's going to be fine. But he wants to play his last year of college football. He's excited about it. He's excited about being around his teammates out there. Thank you, Coach. Thank you.